vacation at Campobello Island, New Brunswick, just a happy memory, the president is back on the job. Work has replaced the joys of a family outing with his sons and the first lady, who proved that she knew how to cook hot dogs to perfection. Canadian and Maine neighbors of the chief executive gave him a rousing send-off as he left for Washington. And before he went, President Roosevelt introduced his party to some old friends. And Mrs. Mr. Norman Davis, who's just come from London and Geneva. And he promised to return. I hope and I am very confident that if peace continues in this world, and that if the other nations of the earth follow the very good example of the United States and Canada, that I will come back here every summer for the next three years. Then he went right to work, sending a stirring message to the London Conference. And after boarding the destroyer Ellis, he transferred to the cruiser Indianapolis. And as the new warship headed south on her speed trials to show the commander-in-chief what she could do, President Roosevelt took up his duties, once more at the helm of the ship of state. 